Hey guys, Tom here again. Today I'm going to be showing you a useful piece of software. Now this comes from KoshiJohn.com and basically uh, Koshi John is a guy who likes to develop software and likes to make it as good as possible so he likes to really really perfect his work and I am taking a look at Neo Search now I've not really need, I've not really used this that much but I know that for some of you it's going to be useful and I know that sometimes this this little program is going to be it's definitely going to be useful for me as well and you know it's a very nicely designed website I'll I'll leave you the link in the description and you can check out his other two programs so you know you can look at those at your leisure I'll probably review the others as like a little series perhaps you know you know like put them in order so uh, I don't know what this is oh yeah right whatever okay so you know obviously it's uh, got little tabs here and you can read about it and, you know it basically just searches your entire computer so I'm going to show you how it works anyway so you get a little file you know go ahead and run it, it says unknown publisher but it's perfectly fine so uh, you know he's a trusted man uh, would you like to install Neo Search now? His installers are a little different to those that you usually see. You know, it's just like you, it, sa it says, "Do you want to install now?" You say yes, and then you say either accept or decline. And if you say accept, you know, it just begins installing, and he makes it very nice and simple. And you know, m m most programs only bother you about a shortcut anyway. So, you know, we're gonna say yes. And that's it. You can just close this box. Now what it's doing is, is it's, it's indexing our entire C drive. So every single file on there is being put into its own little index. So in that way it can bring up search results just instantly. It's literally, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say full system index. So it says scanning path 1 out of 2. And when you, when you index your entire system, it doesn't take that long either, as you can see. So. And you know, it looks very nice. It's nice and transparent. I know that the screen may look a little bit laggy when I, you know, move it around, but that's because I've got Camtasia Studio. By the way, if you make videos on YouTube and you, you, you see this, can you please answer me something? Is it normal for it to be this laggy when you've got Camtasia Studio running? Because quite frankly, it is quite a pain. So, you know, I'm just putting that out there. So this should be over relatively soon because when you click the index button up there, which I do a lot, when I've got it installed, I, uh, you know, it doesn't take barely any time at all. So anyway, I'm going to just pause the video whilst it carries on indexing, and I'll be right back. See you in a sec. Hey guys, it's nearly finished. I think. So you know, it, it, uh, this little box appears up there, and it's done. So now we've got help, and it's got the information about it and all that stuff, all that good stuff. You've got options, automatically run, Neo search, blah 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 blah. Use slower background indexing, include system folders. Um, I, I include my C drive and my D drive by, and that happens by default and you can you can select folders and drives to exclude but I don't have any 
index. You can I I re I re index manually. And what's again, you know, he, you know, he makes good software, but I don't see why he's got an uninstall button right there. You know, it's just a bit, it's a bit weird, is all. But you know, obviously it's fine. So you can re-index from here. So we'll click done. You can also index by clicking that button right there, but I'm not going to do that. It's also got a Windows 7 look to its window, and it looks quite nice when it fades out. And uh, you can start indexing right from there. Even so, we're going to search something. Let's see a boom to. Now you, you just saw how quickly that just came up, and I can just open the file right from there. I don't. I honestly don't know what that was, to be honest. I know it says Ubuntu password, but. I know that knowing me, that's not what it's going to be. So, um, let's see now. Drivers. So you know, and uh, you know, if, so anything that is relative to drivers, what you know, whatever we type in. It's just going to come up. So don't know what's happening here. Okay, just bear with me a second, guys. My my system is really laggy. Hang on. Okay, this is really annoying. I do not know what's happening. Uh, right, I'm trying to pause the video, and for some reason, my system is just locked up. Hang on. Right, sorry about that guys, I don't know what was happening there, that was weird. Oh. Right, anyway. Uh, so you know, just search for whatever. And, uh, it will come up. Sorry about this, this is really, really getting annoying now. Okay. Just hang on a second, guys. I, um, for some reason, whenever I click anything, it's not, it's not doing anything. God, this is embarrassing. Yeah, it's Camtasia Studio, guys. Sorry about that. So, uh, I could see Beano. Oh, Mr. Bean. Whatever that is. And uh, Toshiba. And, you know, loads of stuff comes up about what I've got to do with Toshiba. Mm. The cafe. Still got McAfee somewhere, somehow. Don't know why. Uh, Panda. Still got Panda Cloud antiviruses falling on me. And, you know, really that's, that's just it. Because there's not much more to say, you know, it's quite straightforward. Uh, I want to show you something though. I want to show you what exactly an index is. So an index is like having a list. It's like, I can't quite explain it. It's like a little tiny list that, that's like in, its, in the program's core. And 
rather than sort of searching for the files and you know looking through all the files it's just basically got all the names of all the files there and whenever you type in anything that it that matches it it will just simply understand so if I if I try to right click on the desktop Oh, come on. Okay, this is actually really, really ticking me off. Right, I'm gonna be. I know, I can't click pause. <laughs> So I'm just I'm just here and I'm waiting and I can't do anything because I can't click pause. Literally, it's all frozen up and I can't move. Oh dear. Right. So if I right click on the desktop and I say new, and yet again I'm trapped, and then, and then, and then, and then, I say text document. And then I say, I don't know, Camtasia Studio is ticking me off. <laughs> oh dear. This is so, so, so annoying. Anyway, I've typed that in. I'm going to wait for, you know, the 10 million years it's going to take for it to update. Right. And I just pressed enter. And I'm waiting for that to confirm. Right. So that that's a, a new file that's there that we haven't and we haven't indexed it yet because that file wasn't there and didn't it, it didn't exist when we did the index. So now I'm gonna search for cam tasia zero is okay now this is not doing anything Right, okay, now this is not working. Uh. Oh, this is a disaster. <laughs> oh dear, right. Right, Camtasia Studio is ticking me off for real. Right, so Camtasia Studio is ticking me off, and it can't, and uh, this can't find it. So if we click Index again, so j just so that you guys haven't been totally lost here, I'm just telling you what an index is in Windows. It's basically whereby a program takes note of, you know, all of the names of all the files in the selected directories or all directories and whenever you type in a name that matches the name of one of those files it will instantly give you a search result and it's very good makes things much more efficient so anyway I'll just go ahead and pause the video and get a little break from this Camtasia Studio because it's really really taking me off 
Okay guys, we've just finished the second index. And now if I search for it, the file Camtasia sudo is ticking me off. Now because we clicked index and the file existed, Neo Search added that file to its index. So now the file is in the index and all as well. So that's it really because that's all I wanted to prove to you as hard as that was. And thanks for watching my video. I'll give you the link to this in the description. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and for putting up with this. Good night.